Hey guys, Terry Shanahan from theshanahanplan.com and creator of The Paleo Transition. And today I want to share with you a great breakfast option, especially for people who have allergies or food sensitivity to eggs. A lot of people when they start the paleo diet, they just don't know what to have for breakfast because they're used to oatmeal or grains and starches and things like that that um, really aren't ideal on a paleo type diet. And so obviously eggs are kind of your go-to, but there are people who find out that they do have food sensitivities and eggs are a big one. So personally, I do have a food sensitivity to eggs that cannot eat them. And so I've had to get creative to come up with other breakfast ideas that are great and also healthy for you. So for breakfast, we're gonna wanna eat something that's higher in fat and protein. Um, I found, and most people that I work with have found that they do weight better on a higher fat, higher protein um, morning, you know, so so for, from the time they wake up um, till lunchtime, a lot of times people do a lot better with very low carbs. Now, this recipe, there's a lot of things you can substitute. There's a lot of variants, and so I'm going to kind of talk you through it. But if it's it's a breakfast scramble, and the first thing I do is I get some coconut oil. So I've got my coconut oil here, and I just put it in a pan. I've had it over kind of a, a medium heat to get it going. The, the coconut oil is totally liquid. It's, it's, it's been going. And I'm going to keep it on a medium high heat. And the first thing I'm going to do is throw some organic greens in there. So you can use kale or spinach or anything that you want. Um, I, I prefer just to throw some mixed greens in there um, and you let these, these cook up. So if you are going to use um, a starch in the morning and put it in this breakfast scramble, uh, there's three different options that I like, and I'm going to use two of them in, in this example. So the first one is you can slice up some apples or even some pears. So I guess there's really four or, or more different options you can use to get some, uh, some carbs in the morning. And so I have some diced up uh, apples right here. I'm just going to throw kind of a, a little handful of them in there. Again, like I said, you could use pears. The other option is sweet potatoes. So you could use sweet potatoes or you could use um, any sort of... Um, other, other starchy root vegetable, uh, squash, butternut squash is great. But for this one right here, we're making a chicken bacon breakfast scramble and we are adding carbs. So this would be a great like post-workout for an athlete. Okay, so right here I have about a, a fourth of a sweet potato diced up and I'm gonna throw that in, into the mix right here. So for post-workout, you wanna bring in a, um, you know, a carbohydrate to replete the muscle glycogen. Now, most people make the mistake of just bringing in fruit, but sweet potatoes and a lot of starchy root and tuber vegetables are better because they're higher in glucose, and so they're, they're a better option post-workout. And so um, right here is great because you've got a little bit of fructose, but you have more glucose uh, with respect to the sweet potato. So once those are going, I have some diced up onions. I'm just going to take a handful of onions, um, put those in there just like that. I also have some red and orange peppers that are diced up going to throw those in and I've already cooked the chicken and the bacon and so the chicken that I'm going to use is actually just from a rotisserie chicken from Whole Foods and so I, it's already cooked, I've already got that ready and I cook the bacon. I like to cook bacon, I just like to lay them flat in a pan and cook it in the oven. I usually cook my bacon at about 350 so a little bit lower temperature and I cook it for 20 to 25 minutes um, depending on the thickness of the bacon. But what we want to do is we want to get all the vegetables and the starches going first. This sweet potato I actually already slightly cooked. Okay, so I like to, to bake them in the oven, just wrap them in foil, you know, put them in there and forget them for 45 minutes to an hour sometimes. And then you can reuse them for other recipes. So that's what I've done. So I'm just going to throw the lid on it here. And we're going to let this cook up and kind of, um, you know, get, get all soft. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what we do after that. Okay, so all the vegetables and the fruit have been sizzling here in coconut oil for about five to seven minutes. Now, again, remember that the sweet potatoes that I put in here and the apples were already cooked, okay? So if you have not cooked those, then you need to put those into the pan a lot sooner. They're probably going to take at least 10 to 20 minutes, uh, depending on how cold they are, to get soft. And then you want to add the other vegetables. But if you've cooked everything before, you can add them in, um, you know, ahead of time together just like I did. And so I just had these going for about seven minutes. It's going to take five, seven, ten minutes, just depending. Just watch them, uh, make sure they're getting soft and nothing's getting burned too much on the, on the bottom of the pan. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in the, the animal proteins. If you can have eggs, this is a great time to add eggs and make it like a big omelet. But for the people who cannot have eggs and who are looking for an alternative 
breakfast food on the paleo diet to eggs, um, you can do a lot of different things. I'm going to add in this recipe chicken and bacon. So I have sliced up rotisserie chicken and I've sliced up about three pieces of bacon. And now is a great time just to add them in. And uh, I'm going to keep cooking um, this for, for about another five minutes. But get creative. You could use chicken sausage, you could use bison, you could use lamb, you can use really any type of animal protein you want and mix it with this. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to finish cooking this for about five more minutes and I'm going to show you the finished product. All right, so I just finished it off. Here's the finished product. This is my chicken bacon breakfast scramble. It's an amazing alternative for people for breakfast who cannot have eggs. You've got protein, fat, carbs. I added a couple avocados on top little bit of sea salt, a little bit of pepper. This is going to be a great meal that you're really going to enjoy. It's going to keep you full and, and satisfied without the grains in the morning. So I want to thank you for checking out this recipe. And if you haven't done so already, get over to the ShanahanPlan.com and make sure you sign up for our Quick Start Paleo course. It's a free course. Just put in your name and email and we'll send you videos on a daily basis to help you transition from the standard American diet towards the Paleo diet. It'll give you some great ideas, some tips, overcome the most common objections and give you the information you need to succeed. Thanks again. We'll see you soon with another great paleo tip.